Okay, so I'm really sorry if there's no game audio during this whole thing for the people that I'm submitting this run to. Uh, I don't know all that much about uh, speedrunning in general. This is just one of my favorite games of all time, and I know you're probably just going to beat this shit anyway, so why not? That was a very bad hook. It's one of my least favorite layouts. Nevertheless... Blazing is bad if you don't... And Lemurians are, like, the second worst. The, the by far worst is Wisps, which, in my... Like, you can do Lemurians, um, as, like, I'm kind of showing here. Like, they're not impossible. It's just Lemurians are very hard. So the first thing that I'm going to get, just because I'm new to running this category, is um, a Topaz Brooch. Uh, just because it helps a little bit with the whole survivability aspect. It really allows you to go um, decently far in. Um, like, it, it, like you can't tank a whole bunch of damage since you are running glass as one of your main... Um, and letting Blazing Elites hit you is like a legit strat since you are going to tick. And Razor Wire hits like a fucking truck with glass. So yeah, after after the boss wave, there's really not much to be said. You're kind of just sitting around waiting for uh, waiting for the teleporter to charge. Um, on this map, uh, I'm ashamed to say, despite the fact that I have almost 200 hours in Risk of Rain, I only know one of the spots for uh, the uh, the teleporter or the uh, nude altar on this on this uh, particular map. This isn't a great first floor unless we can get one more white item. Yeah, that's not great. That's fine. I mean, it's still doable as long as we don't get a abandoned aqueduct. And I like to Oh, that's a that's a gold actually. That's pretty nice. As soon as I get teleported out, I like to uh I like to hit the button for, uh... So we know that there is a, uh... A, a guaranteed nude altar up there, so we're probably gonna try and get up there. We also got beetles... As our mob, which is good. I'm just being stupid. Ooh, yeah, this one's gonna be real fucking slow. God damn it. Ugh. Probably my worst performance I've done on this map. That should do it. Okay, and then we'll just wait for another charge on W. That's why I think getting the, uh, the, what's it called? The, uh, the backup magazine is really good on this map just because, um, and we'll charge through these guys just in case we can get an item. We didn't, that's very unfortunate. Fuck, man. Th this is going to be a very slow floor. Holy shit. Because I, I need that second razor wire. Because what razor wire is going to allow me to do is take care of enemies uh, that are like pretty much all the way across the screen. And that's very important for this run because we really... Oh, we really actually do want that Shrine of the Mountain since we got beetles. So well, that's really important for this run because... Uh, oh my goodness. Because uh, we want to make sure that we have the ability to kill enemies that are far away for the second stage of the final boss. If we can't do that, then we're in a pretty nasty position. Um, because if we can't kill the enemies that are on the far ends of the screen, we we, fa we end up chasing them around all day. Um, that was a great fight. Wow, that's really lucky too. Get a backup mag. Um, I've been running a new strat as well by going gasoline um, as one of the items that I pick up. Um, but for greens, I'm like 90% sure that the... So the new, the new patch on 1.0.0 Risk of Rain made it so that you pretty much couldn't one-hit the final boss while he was stealing your items, um, at least not easily. Uh, which, while I don't quite know that much about this speedrun, I know that uh, part of the final boss was getting there so fast that he literally didn't even have the ability to um, 
to take all your items. And so as a result, you'd be able to keep all of them without him having to, uh, without you having to get all of them back. We are going positive after our gold, which is kind of embarrassing, but any speedrunner will know that that will happen. 92%. So when we go to the next floor, what we're going to be looking for, that is a pretty not great extra item there. Uh, we are looking to probably get a, um, probably a, uh, it's the item that makes a focus convergence and a, um, and notice that I don't split here just because I don't have anything set up for the bazaar. This is a pretty good, uh, cause we are looking for a focus convergence, a hellfire tincture, and then I guess these two, well, no, not these two, just this one. Please tell me I hit that. I did. Holy shit. Okay, that's good. So now, now I will uh, end up hitting the button. I don't have anything set up for the bazaar. I probably should. We did get my preferred map for the third floor stage. Um, which just allows us pretty much to go straight to the teleporter. Um, and we can just, uh, you know, now we can just hit Q and the entire floor dies, which is pretty excellent for us. I am going to try an experimental thing where I go fuel cell just because I like the extra cooldown and sometimes you don't actually need to burn. Uh, sometimes razor wire is a little bit overkill in terms of hike how far it goes out because... In my opinion, I think we still need the items. Like, we still need to be able to find things. And, uh, R, if you can dodge, uh, fairly well, still does take care of quite a few enemies. And it drops the items way closer to the teleporter radius, so you don't have to go, like, all the way out on that other end. The only concern is that it goes, like, all the way out there. That is very strange. Um... It goes all the way out there, and like I don't, I can't justify the time it takes to go out there. You can see that razor wire is already pretty far. We do need it to be farther. That's a really good rally point delta. That's a very good rally point delta. That might even be gold, even though we're losing time. Yep, that's a gold. Wow. Okay, that's great. We're minus four. Hopefully, we go to sirens call. We do. Um, we are not going to be fighting the final boss, or the, uh, the secret boss of this floor. I'm trying to debate whether or not it's worth it going to, um, Blue Zone again, and I think I've decided no, considering that our boss is Jellyfish, and that kind of allows us to just kind of chill. That's a pretty easy floor, you just mash left-click whenever they get near you, and since they are Glacial, um... I mean, there. that's like one of the... I might go grab that just because I do want um, an extra hook for the final stage. I think that is what I'm going to end up doing. We're just going to throw that over there. Oh, that's a great drop. And you'll notice after I get a uh, razor wire, I don't particularly care about taking damage. That's two whites. That's almost certainly worth going out to grab, and then this glacial is just going to kill that. I'm not, Like I said, I'm not particularly worried about taking glacial damage, just because um, what, it, once I do take glacial damage, because I do have a topaz brooch and loader's passive, um, I don't have to worry about... Um, oh, I still need to find this final glacial. That is very strange. That, like, literally almost never happens. And I'll just take this damage. Uh... I woke up the alloy worship unit. That is fucking weird. I've never done that before uh, during these runs. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. Um, I wonder... How much damage does this do? Yo, okay, straight up. Let's do that shit. Okay, new route discovered. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna grab a hard light afterburner. Wow, dude, that's actually... We're making progress mid-run. That's interesting. I wonder how legitimate of a route that might be. Yeah, we are plus eight. Sky Meadow? I mean, it's literally the only one. I don't know why it sounded so surprised. Um...
Wisps are very bad. Don't get me wrong. Uh, they're they're probably my least favorite enemy in the whole entire game. Just gonna throw that out there for them to to suck on a little bit. Uh, this is a bad teleporter spawn. Could it be up here? You can see, though, that they do get a little bit easier once you have eight razor wires. Um, shit. We're losing a shitload of time here just for bad spawns, though. A little bit crazy, but, I mean, hey, that's what happens when you, when you play Risk of Rain. Sometimes you just get bad spawns. Is that it over there? What the fuck? Oh, it's an active item. I wonder, wonder if there's any point in having an active item. Dude, where is this teleporter? This is like absolutely horrendous time now. But hey, I mean, it's good enough. Um... Trying to literally look everywhere I can think of. Might as well pick up these razor wires since we're going to be losing all way too much time anyway. We will take this since it's going to help all that much more. The problem with losing time in Risk of Rain, for those of you who don't know um, how Risk of Rain plays or anything, um, there it is. That was really bad time. Jesus. Um, for those of you who don't know how Risk of Rain plays, uh, the, the difficulty gets harder with um, the amount of time spent on a level. So the main strat, holy crap, the main strat for this whole run, essentially, is to get it so that... Uh, the final boss's health, Miserix, uh, Mitherix, has uh, such low health that he can't tank the razor wires that you've accumulated. Because razor wires, uh, when you stack them, do not um, increase the uh, the damage. It just increases the range. But that's what one of our uh, that's what one of our uh, but uh, what's it called? Uh, relics is for. That allows you to um, deal 500% more damage, but you only have 10% health. So there's a lot of runs um, in speedrunning history that typically reset um, on uh, when you die or, or when you get like a bad split or anything like that. Risk of Rain is not only one of those. The chances are that you're splitting on a bad set because you die is very high. Um, just because, uh, there's a mechanic in the game called one-shot protection. And one-shot protection is, uh, when you take more than a hundred percent of your health, uh, in damage, the game lets you keep the last 10% of your health. Um, and it lets you do that because there are monsters in the game that will just straight up annihilate you past 100% health. And so it's it's there to give you protection against those, like, super, like, feels bad moments. Um, sorry, I'm pretty intensely focusing. This is my first route that I've ever done where I've had a, uh, a uh, hard light afterburner. I don't know how much faster that is, but we're testing. Oh, sorry, I forgot to split. My bad. Splitting's kind of bullshit anyway. I mean, it's just to let you know what you need to improve on and all that I know, but still. So I don't know how this boss fight's going to go. Uh, this is more time than I would want to spend, I'd want to say, on on uh, on Mitherix 1. 
Oh, that auto actually makes you release that. I didn't know that. Oh. Poof. Almost died. Did he jump? No, he didn't. So you want to let, like, a couple of these guys pepper you? Yeah, because they just tend to fuck themselves up. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna... I'm just gonna throw that out there. Bonk. Oop. Bonk. Oop. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah, they're nearly immune now, which is very strange, because they never used to be immune. Yeah, I'll leave you guys alone. It's fine. Yeah, this is going to be a very strange set of new splits that we all have to come up with, because, because now, like, the old splits just straight up don't work. Never mind. So that's the moon. That's great. That is an excellent, excellent, excellent boost to my confidence a little bit because that is a, a really, uh, a really dangerous uh, attack there. I think. I can do this correctly. Fuck. That's going to be a time loss. Well, something to improve on, I guess. wonder if we can get it to spawn, like, right next to the ship, though. I think we can. Yep. Yes, dude. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Oh, that's so good. A 1753 feels so nice. That feels so good. Oh, shit. I know it's not the greatest time or anything like that. Where does that put me? 1753. 1753 puts me on the second page, which kind of sucks. Or puts me in dead last, actually. But you know what? You know what? I'll accept that shit. I'll accept my 1753 with pride. Fuck yeah, dude. That's so fun. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. So yeah, after a weird bad run that kind of was a good run that maybe opened up some possibilities for, uh, for uh, improvement, obviously, especially on that Mitherix fight and Sky Meadow, um, that was awesome. Yeah, that's my PB. Sweet.